Sure. Currently, I'm working on Climate Smart Initiative Program, which is a World Bank program led by Care Ethiopia. And Farm Africa is one of the consortium working on this program, uh, taking the responsibility of uh, a larger region in Ethiopia, is Oromia Regional State. And the program is mainly focusing on Ethiopian food security system uh, to mainstream climate issues for road mapping for the, the new generation of uh, productive safety net and household asset building. And in terms of your research, what are you finding out from uh, farmers and pastoral um, farmers in, in Ethiopia? What kind of resources do they need to be able to operate in, in more challenging weather conditions? Yeah, actually my research is focusing on pastoral communities, which is found in south, south part of Ethiopia, Borana pastoralists. Uh, uh, you know, pastoralists are living in very marginalized areas, semi-arid areas, which is uh, information system. Having up-to-date information is very challenging for them, and drought is a, uh, a very risk uh, life blue challenging for their day to day practice uh, for any of for any person who are interested to work for pastoral this area have to solve the challenges of drought by having accessing water and accessing up to date information is very important for them since they are suffering a lot on drought and uh, also uh, previously they predict their seasonal uh, the rainfall coming and also the session the patterns of their movement nowadays this is not uh, practical because of the fluctuation of the rainfall uh, so up-to-date information is a very important thing for them and uh, also meteorological recording data is very poor also if someone is working on this area is very good for them and, and you mentioned it was uh, perhaps increasingly important to use things like local radio stations to uh, communicate with um, people perhaps not everyone has a mobile phone or perhaps not everyone is in an area where um, you can get reception for for your phone how how um, how do you think that is how is that developing in, in Ethiopia actually the developing community radios for them is very important since it is uh, a, a, a a community radio is very simple to develop because there is on market centers they come in one of the center and they get easily information if develop uh, one mini media or community radio in market center or in uh, on in the area of when communities uh, co come together at that place if some information is transferred for them it is very easily at addressing uh, up to date information for them and I guess finally, what, what, from your experience, what are the kinds of things that pastoralists uh, need to understand, or what are the kinds of information they need to be um, told so they, you know, they have a head start? Yeah, actually, pastoralists have uh, mainly transfer information from mouse to mouse, you know. Uh, because most of them are not literate, uh, so they didn't read, uh, and also they didn't have the, the technology. For instance, if we talk about uh, mobile technology, there is no network accessibility is very poor, uh, so we didn't address that one. So maybe it is much important to address community radio or uh, talking through mini media like uh, broadbanding the F short. Uh, Radios for them, that's much important. Uh, and also addressing them, their challenges through using the elders because they, since they are uh, indigenous peoples, indigenous, very rich in indigenous knowledge, passing information through their elders are easily accessible and easily acceptable by the communities and uh, giving their awareness through that is also one of the important things.